What's the number one job of a jazz improviser when you're soloing? Well, I'll give you 1A and 1B. 1A is play with the best sound you can play with. And then 1B, equally important, is play with the best rhythmic feel that you can play with. These two, to me, are one and the same when it comes to improvising, right? And the reason I'm making this video is because I'm a, I'm a professor in jazz school. And in jazz school, all around the country, I see it everywhere, we tend to, uh, we tend to prioritize harmony above all. And what happens when everything goes through our filter of harmony? Well, some people have, in, you know, amazing harmony, or they sound good over the changes, but their sound is kind of whack, or they don't have, play with good intonation, or they don't have good style and articulations. They, they don't command their instrument very well. And then the other thing is, maybe they're playing with great harmony, but they're not lining up with the rhythm section. I can't feel what they're trying to say in their solo, even though what they're playing over the chord changes makes sense, you see? No, we gotta, we gotta re-trigger our minds uh, about this. This is about sound, this is about feel, number one, and everything you play must go through the filter of sound and feel. And it's amazing, when, when, when you start playing this way, harmonically, you can kind of make anything sound good. It's kind of crazy, but you can get away with murder. Now, if you keep missing changes all the time, all right, I'm not trying to say harmony is not important, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, for those of you who are getting into improvisation for the first time and you've got fear about it, well, start with sound and feel, right? Simplify your harmony. You can even practice playing a blues or a tune you know really well and start with one note and make that note sound great and and play with play you know change your rhythms on that one note and when that starts to feel comfortable you add another pitch and now you go in between two different pitches practicing sound and feel and then a third and then a fourth so all of a sudden your harmony starts expanding but always through the filter of sound and feel, not the other way around.